For decades, a Kmart store and its parking lot have stuck out and split up Nicolette Avenue in South Minneapolis. No secret. Yeah, the city finally set to buy that land in hopes of actually fixing this problem. But there's a big giant snag and don't get your hopes up. Here's Kent Erdahl. If you've ever been driving down Nicolette Avenue only to find yourself smack dab in the middle of this Kmart parking lot, chances are you've thought this big K might represent a big mistake. This wasn't a mistake. This was desperation. Desperation that former Minneapolis Mayor R.T. Ryback says goes all the way back to when the store first opened in 1977. The city wanted to change this area. They cleared the area. They hoped for development. It didn't come. They got desperate. Kmart said we'll come, but only if we can do the model that worked in a bunch of suburbs. That model was so controversial that it led to a protest mural in the place where it cut off Nicollet Avenue. But even though it literally split the neighborhood, in other ways it brought it together. The Whittier Alliance at the time was created in response to, uh, to those frustrations and concerns. Ever since, Ricardo McCurley says the Alliance has pushed and planned for redevelopment that might better connect and serve the area. As you can see when you look around, the parking lot isn't full. It's never full. And all of that space could be put to such better uses. The city agrees, which is why it's on the verge of paying $8 million to buy this seven acres of land from Kmart's current landlord. There's just one big problem. Their lease goes until the year 2053. Kmart has a lot of control of what happens now. Economic Development Director David Frank says the city made a proposal to Kmart that would include a new store and increased access due to a reconnected Nicollet Avenue. But Kmart is less than thrilled, saying in a statement, the city's proposal did not specify the type of development planned on the entire property and potential neighbors and included a 1,000% increase in rent the first year with a 50% increase over the next 20 years. No business would ever agree to these terms. And in the end, they didn't think it was in their best interest. So if that's a non-starter, is there another option? Can the city raise the rent on them just as they are? The lease does not allow for their rent to be raised. So as I said before, they're, uh, they're in a great position to, and they have a fair amount of control. 36 years of control to be more specific, but after 40 years of waiting, at least it's a start. The step they took now says the long-term view is that the public owned this thing called Nicollet, and it's going to own it again. Now the city council still has to sign off on this purchase, but that does look likely. After that, they'll try and continue to negotiate with Kmart in hopes of finding a solution. But again, this is something that uh, doesn't seem Kmart has a lot of incentive to change. Welcome to Minneapolis, Kent. This is this will be going on. It's gone, been gone on as long as I've been here. You've been here. Well, and it here. seems like such a big gamble to pay $8 million for property that you don't know that you can actually redevelop at some point. But they do know now, and that was the point that they wanted to make. 36 years from now, well, okay. the clock starts today <laughs> okay. or next week or whenever the city council actually makes this happen. So our children's children will be able to walk <laughs> down Nicollet Avenue. <laughs> at the very latest, yes. But they said today, we're in the game of being here for 100 years. Right. Not just 36. Well, true. Very true. All right. Well, there so you go. So when I'm 75 years old, I might walk down Nick. Okay. And in and, and 36 years, 8 million bucks will seem like a deal, like a bargain, right? Yeah. And the, the like a blue light is still special. valuable, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Absolutely. Thank you, Kent. We appreciate it. You yeah. didn't solve it, Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I didn't know that we sent him out here to do that, poor guy. <laughs> All right.